I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about Twin Flame Process and these are the monthly readings for October 2023 by Sun Sign. Um, and if you wanted to get a personal reading or do a Skype session, you can find out all about me in on my website and the link is in the description box below. Um, and the readings are a bit late. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what's happened. I just feel like um, I disappeared somewhere <laughs> for like most of September. So I've got no memory of the month or of, or of anything that went on really. It's bizarre. And um, I feel like I've just kind of come back into being here. I've got a lot to talk about as well about my own process and what's going on there. So I'll put some videos out about that sometime soon and about the law of attraction and how that's all progressing with this twin flame process. So I'll look out for those videos if you're interested um, sometime this month probably. Right then, so that's that and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good month. Well, this is your reading for October 2023. So the first thing that they're saying to me, Libra, is infinite power. Um, so in some way this month, you're really in charge of your life, they're saying. And you are. they're also saying you're fully charged. So you're going to feel like you've got a lot of power, a lot of energy. Um, power as in, yeah, energy and feeling like really um, full of life and able to do a lot of stuff. Um, very like forward moving energy, you're going to feel very productive, you're going to want to get on with a lot of things, get a lot of jobs done, they're showing me someone building something like a carpenter, pieces of wood, so uh, it's a month for like building your dreams, they're saying building on your dreams, progressing, you know, in a physical sense, in what do you want your life to be like and getting on with that, so and it feels like you've got a lot of catching up to do, in terms of that, it feels like somehow you've maybe felt blocked or unable to move forward. And they're saying this month it's all full steam ahead. So um, it's going to be a very busy month and uh, you're not going to have much time for relaxing or not doing anything. Uh, because you're going to be very, very busy doing a lot of things. A catch up month of everything that you've been kind of unable to get on with I feel like it's because you were uh, like emotionally not ready for it um, when you're emotionally not ready you, you might have been feeling low you might have been feeling down um, so just not able to get on with anything and this month you're going to feel so much better and so much more able to just and you're really going to want to get on with things because you're feeling better they're saying so it's a very good month for Libra let's get some cards out and see what else they say and I get you just not taking a break and not having minutes to kind of catch your breath. It's like from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. Just momentum, like really good momentum of like getting loads done and getting on with stuff. Three of Cups, celebrations, so really feel good month for you. Three of Pentacles, <laughs> so a creative month for you. And threes are all about like birthing something and growth and development and creativity and uh, getting on with things and then we've got four of cups we've got desires and we've got you held back from something you desire and again it's this is a malaise the four of cups so it's like where you may not have been feeling good so i feel like you're going to move through the barrier of that um, that was existing inside of yourself something that's not allowed you to feel fully good um, it's automatically leaving their saying so um, this is not a mental thing it might have affected you mentally but it's not like something you could have put stop to through any kind of therapy or any kind of focusing on your mental capacity because it's an energetic thing and it's been there for a reason uh, it's almost like um, you know moving through your um, energy body moving through your chakras feels like you weren't able to get beyond a certain point so you could say not fully healed even and um, the sadness and the sense of lack, the sense of foreboding, they're saying, so that's like a worry, like a feeling of things not turning out right for you, 
like so feeling like if you did something you wouldn't it wouldn't fit, turn out right for you so fear really of moving forward um, so you're coming out of that and you're going to be able to get on with whatever it is because the sense of foreboding is going to leave and you're going to feel like I can just do anything like the world I, I can own the world kind of a feeling is coming in for you this month ace of cups love and um, just like feeling like complete basically and feeling really powerful in that like I love life life is great life can be what I want it to be I can make this life anything I want owning your power over your life itself like I'm going to make it into what I want it to be I'm not going to be held back anymore I'm not going to suffer anymore I'm not going to feel bad anymore I'm not going to worry anymore I'm not going to stress anymore I'm not going to tell myself I can't do it I'm going to just completely like just like blossom <laughs> they're saying four of swords so that's um like a state of no mind basically so not thinking not thinking not worrying not stressing not caring in essence of like you know anything that could hold you back not worrying about what people think of you not worrying about oh god what if it goes wrong you know nothing like that that's all going away and you're just going to have this like well i can do anything like this is my life I can do anything with it that I want and whatever it's going to turn out as it's going to be however it's meant to be and it's going to be good whatever it is you're just going to roll with the punches basically it feels like page of cups love moving it's, this is all new to you so it's going to be a very like feeling like everything is new this month maybe doing things that you haven't done before doing things in a brand new way you know, approaching life in a completely new way to where you're coming from. Um, and it's all new to you. So it's like feeling differently. It's feeling new. So it might be that, you know, you're doing a lot of things like you're not sure. Well, you're not, when are you ever sure? You're not sure of like, you know, how am I going to feel if I do this? Is it going to make me feel better? Is it going to make me feel worse? Oh, I'm just going to do it anyway. And I'll find out how I feel by doing it. But I'm not scared about how it's going to make me feel one way or another because I feel really good now <laughs> so I'm just gonna just roll with it and see where it takes me it's that kind of an energy right because you've got to do something before you find out you can't always have the clarity first of what things are going to be like you've just got to go ahead and do them and then you find out what's going to be like and by doing that that's how you grow and you're like well that wasn't so bad so now we'll do another thing that's all new to me. Oh, that wasn't so bad either. Okay, so, you know, and it's kind of like that energy this month for you. Six of Cups, which is reunion. So it's all rolling you towards reunion. So this energy that's building inside of you of like going towards what you love is rolling you towards a physical reunion with your twin flame, which is obviously what you love because that's twin flames are about love. <laughs> so we've got that there as well on the agenda. The sun, it's all good. So everything is essentially good. So like they're saying right at the beginning, it's like you're coming out of a malaise. It's like you're waking up. It's like you're being reborn and you're ready to get on with a new life in a different way from a different perspective, a higher perspective, um, a grander perspective, they're saying. A more what, prosperity perspective. Uh, pers perspective. <laughs> a more like abundance perspective a more like life can be good life will be good I will make life good so it's all that's what's in your head this month and then we've got six of pentacles which is meeting someone coming in contact with someone someone reaching out something coming back to you perhaps uh, it's two ends of the stick coming together in the physical sense six of pentacles equal three three right so somebody else who's also feeling good so you've got the feeling good there, right, in the Three of Cups and the reasons to celebrate. You've got a state of no mind, no worry. And then you've got someone meeting with someone, coming into contact with someone. Six, two, three. So it's someone else feeling good as you. So that's your twin flame. You've got six of <laughs> cups here. Another six, right? The two threes coming together. Twin flames. It's the two threes feeling good. Um, created here, feeling good here love here love here and then you've got this malaise here in the four of cups of what you desire out of reach like i can't have that i don't feel good enough for it however that's the only card here that's outstanding is not looking good in this reading but that's what they're saying you're coming out of so um that's coming into perspective and then we've got seven of pentacles underneath which is they just said the grand return the harvest and this is the month of the harvest september 
So um, over by the end of the October for you, something being over. You are pushing forward into something. You will be finished with it by the end of October, they're saying. Just get one more out quickly on all of that. Ending Ten of Wands. Ending energetically of your process. Communication, Ace of Swords coming out underneath. On what is the harvest about? It's about communication. And then we've got Three of Cups. And we've got another ending. We've got the Wounded Warrior. So this is what they're saying about you feeling like not good. And you're coming out with that. Reasons to get on with things. Reasons to be cheerful, part three. <laughs> um, six of pentacles energy moving forward towards reconciliation they just said reconciliation four of cups emperor emperor returns so the masculine coming back basically what you desire that's been out of reach and that's inside of you as well so if you are the feminine watching this this is you coming into alignment of both sides of yourself your feminine and your masculine so you will feel really really powerful in the physical world like you're able to get on with your life but you will also feel guided by your higher self the two halves coming together right the two threes coming together the physical activity and the higher self and if you're reading this for someone who's if you're looking at this for your your uh, twin flame this is the twin flame coming also into alignment because both halves have to come into alignment the two halves outside of higher self the masculine and feminine in the physical world the two people and the two halves of self inside of those people the masculine and feminine inside of those people coming into alignment two threes and the six right so that's why we've got the threes and the sixes reunion brand new beginning and the ace of pentacles coming into the physical three of pentacles another completion card this is just feeling great in your current situation happiness at home so just happiness in your life in general like life is great i love life I'm, I'm looking forward to life life is going to be what i want happiness again nine of cups um good everything good happiness love bringing it into the physical so love manifesting into the physical healed in the knight of pentacles and page of cups and you've got the strength card on top of that you've got the two halves masculine and feminine the infinite uh, infinite link here and they said infinite power i think at the beginning right so there you go infinite power that's the power card strength so that's what's coming about masculine and feminine connecting through your journey basically and i just uh, get this big ending at the 29th of october something around then uh, which is actually the end of the harvest i think is the it's the uh, equinox so well, that's how you have to see what happens around then. And you've got that, remember, the communication. So that's it for Libra. See you in the next one. Lots of love.